Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Big Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Tom Clancy's The Division 2. And I will be joined throughout this Let's Play by various random people. I believe the Colonel is going to attempt to try and grab the game and join me. As well as Splooch and Party Commissar. I think pre-ordered the game today. So, once the game is officially out and ready to go, they will be joining me and we will all be playing and having some fun. But right now, I have a little bit of early access thanks to Ubisoft for being awesome and sending it my way. And yeah, we're going to play around a bit. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to do probably a few episodes and yeah, I'll just upload them until the game releases and then hopefully my folks catch up pretty quickly. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty easy for them. Anyway, let's get moving. Let's get going. Basically, I did character creation. That's what I look like. I am dead sexy. And we're going to head on, st standing in the tricycle basket, we're going to head on, we're going to kind of do the first tutorial mission. We're going to follow Agent Sanders and investigate the alarm. There's splody bits. Agent, follow me. I'm following you. Let's go. Well, that's a, forgive me. I, I haven't uh, done any sort of practice at all with this. So, yeah. I, I, I'm not going to be the best at what I'm doing right now. I'm probably going to be okay. I dare say. And I may have to play with some of the sound settings and whatnot, guys and gals. This gun has a lot of uh, kick to it. Look at him. Look at him shooting. He's just holding the gun sideways. His rat tat banging. I don't need no dang cover. Bring it. Get back up. What are you doing? Don't take a nap. Come on, Agent De La Cruz. Uh oh. Oh, wait. Oh. We got this. I got you, man. Don't worry. See to those barricades, and have someone radio the patrols to be on the lookout for stragglers. Some of those bastards got away. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to relocate. Come on, help me with this. We're stretched too thin to protect everyone here. Why do we put a camera on top of the ladder? That's weird. Not again. Get to the waterfront! That can't be right. The waterfront? Uh oh. Hopefully my eye makeup doesn't run. We can't let them know who I truly am. That's right, I got my pistol at. See? Continuity. I like it. I don't know if I just have stance. Are there gonna be ships coming? Aw oh, yeah, the turret baby. I can't wait. I've been looking forward to this for a while. I've been playing a lot of the Division 1 lately. Oh. Oh no. It's like EMP? Some sort of signal kill thing? Uh oh. This is a distress code. The coordinates for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? Get down! Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed or it's all over. You go. All right. I'll do what I can here. Go. I like it. I like it. So are we still like in New York at this point? Like what's going on? Like that's what I'm getting from this. It's very interesting. So like are we running from New York all the way to D.C. and we're going to go and... Do some booty whooping? Like, what, what's happening we here? We took things for granted. Ah. We expected coffee in the morning. Yep. We expected free Wi-Fi. Yep. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, Ooh. we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. Yeah. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? 
Did your neighbor? Some survived. Wow. It's actually kind of heartbreaking, isn't it? We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? Okay, I, I'm I'm good. Let's let's do this. I'm hyped. All right, this is ah, I've been waiting, guys. It's been seven months since the outbreak. I want to see what beautiful world they've created. I know we I got to play in the beta in fear of it. The virus, the green poison. But yeah, the real danger is out there, waiting. You know Ubisoft is amazing, or Ubisoft, and a lot of people prefer saying it that way. It's probably the way you should say it. I like to be different. Ubisoft, they uh, they are fantastic, fantastic world builders. If you like nothing else about the company, you have to admit, they create an astoundingly amazing world when they make a game. I say it in every, every title, but I, I like, obviously, a lot more than just the world that's created. So... Okay, looks like we're getting thrown back to basically, it looks like possibly where the beta started. So um, I'm kind of looking forward to this. Remember Desolate New York? Welcome to uh, a little bit of a Desolate DC. Again, my sound mixing might be a bit off. The game sounds and whatnot might be a bit loud. Man, they have a lot of companies. So we'll address that and fix it up as we go. Okay. So here we are. So did we run all the way from New York? Is is that, or was there like a a helicopter? Like like what like what happened? Cool. Ah oh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Oh, I I am I am psyched Incoming up for this. On the SHD emergency channel. Flash priority. The base of operations is under attack. Hostile forces have breached our southern perimeter. We are in need of immediate assistance. That's Repeat, crazy. need immediate assistance from any nearby agents. Press G to equip a grenade, what? Oh, and then throw it with the left mouse button. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. I will say it is a pretty vast improvement from the first division, so... If you guys weren't particularly big fans of the first division, uh, this should, uh... It should be a little bit better. Yeah, I could bleed, or I could just make you die a little bit. What else we got? What else we got? Welcome to Santa's Village. Is there any equipment or like ammo? Ooh, what's this? What this? What's in here? Oh, we got some gloves. Uh, well, I guess. Hmm. I guess I'll loot it. It didn't seem to be as good as what we had. I don't know how we're looting stuff that's worse than our starting equipment. That doesn't seem right. Alright, this is probably going to get a little bit loud. Just kind of FYI. Our job is to make sure that 
sure nobody comes up from behind. Well, good luck, because I'm about to come up from behind. Just keep your goddamn eyes open. Surprise! Eyes open! Oh, you're not dead. You are now. Alright. I've got eyes on a division agent heading north toward the White House. Business handle. Looks like they've cut down a group of hyenas and are headed this yeah. way. Yeah. Agent, if you can hear us on this frequency, keep pushing forward and blindside these bastards. You know I'm gonna do that. You don't have to tell me. I got this. That's why they call me Bumpy. The lone wolf. They, they don't. Nobody, nobody calls me that, but... For right now, it's what I have to do. I have to lone wolf it up. Oh, what's with the weird green stinky fart cloud mist? That doesn't bode well, does it? Oh boy, there's a large quantity of these guys. Surprise! Well, there's a smaller quantity of these guys now. There you are. Oh, there's a whole bunch of you guys still. Scoot on up next to the green paint cans. You guys can mock me for my bad aim. I probably deserve it for some reason or another. Where did you come from, friend? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Alright, where's this guy at? I'm moving. There's no point in fighting back. Well, I guess we should just not shoot anymore. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. Alright, cool. So that was that was simple and easy and sweet sweet nice styles with a Z. Yeah, put the fire out, man. I gotta get in here. Thank you. Welcome to DC, ladies and gentlemen. The White House. Seen a few better days and it's time, but there it is. 38.8977 and then something else I totally didn't read at all. It's our base of operations. Ooh, I received gloves Safe and knee pads. Let's go take a, a little panning view of the White House. We have discovered it, and it is fly. Okay. So I have a bunch of uh you play club rewards or Ubisoft club rewards. That we'll probably pick up at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Me with the division coordinator upstairs. I've got something special, man. Whoa, upstairs calm down, guys. I mean, I appreciate it. So, what do we have here? Do we have anything in here at all? Q. These are our current weapons, right? And then these are our mail. Oh, deliveries. Ooh, grants. What are these? Oh. Oh, it's like that, is it? Oh, we 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 got some stuffs. Oh, we got some stuffs. All right, so we're gonna grab all the stuffs, and it's going to be great. Eh? 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 All right, I don't know what any of that means, but we just got a whole bunch of stuff to change up what we what we're doing right now. All right, our gloves are terrible. We are going to X is options. Weird. Uh, we'll mark it as junk. Let's see what our knee pads are like. Pretty much, kind of dead even, really. Eh, mark it as junk too. It's X. Yeah, no, it's not X. I'm sorry. It's V. V is in as in in bunk because junk. It, mm. Okay, well, we're not level 3 yet, but we are level 1. And we can have this weapon, which looks so much cooler than our other weapon. We're going to mark this thing as a pile of 
the junk of the junk. And we are going to deconstruct junk. Yeah, first try. All right, cool. All right, we're not going to play around too much more with all the ridiculous things that we got. We'll maybe play around with our what, are, what we look like a little bit later on. But for now, let's get to where we're heading. Oh, the game plays so smoothly, too. Hello, can I come in? Gonna miss Feilau. This is you. Welcome to DC. New sheriff in town. I'm Manny. I run comps. Really? I'm guessing the right. division alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. I did. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. I ran all the way from New York. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. <gasps> there are several main factions and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division Network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. Uh, okay. She's one of the last surviving agents in D.C. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. That would be useful. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. Word. All right, we got this. We got this. Don't even worry about it. We got this. By the way, agent, oh. head downstairs and check in with the quartermaster. I got a peacock. Can you set up with some division tech. You're gonna need the edge. Unlock next skill at the quarter master. There's so many things happening. Lots of bright and shiny things. I like it. Don't know why I like it, but I like it. All right. So anytime you level up in a said game, you will get proficiency caches. And it looks like you can hold up to 10. You should go and you should open them whenever you get them because they will hold equipment for you to be less terrible. That is the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream. And it looks like we have some cool new stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Um, That's a perk. We'll have to get that eventually. All right, we'll, we'll deal with that again once, once you know, we get to that spot. Talk to the quartermaster downstairs. There you are. What's up? Agent, you're gonna want to check this out. I am. Oh, the pulse! They brought it back! Oh, thank God. Oh, that's the one thing I missed more than anything else playing the beta. They didn't have the pulse, and now it's here, and I am so happy. Uh, Division agent skills are based around skill platforms with a number of variants. There are eight skill platforms available in total. Skills are unlocked by completing certain main missions. You can unlock the skill platforms in any order. Choose which skill you want to unlock first. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we, we, we's doing this. All right, so what do we have here? Hold F to unlock a skill plat... It's fine. Uh, scanner pulses the surrounding area for hostiles and visually highlights them on my HUD. Yes, please. I have a hard time seeing the bad guys. I know. I'm old and bad. It's fine. Uh, let's see. The remote is deployed at a set location and continually pulses the nearby area for hostiles and visually highlights them on the agent's HUD. I mean, that's kind of neat. I, I don't know how big of an area. I feel like the, the traditional pulse is better. What's the third variant here? Uh, the jammer pulses outward, overloading and disabled. Nah. No, we're going, we're, going cla we're going old school. We're going classic. Give it to me. Give it to me. Ugh. I'm excited, guys and gals. Oh, oh, it was saying very important things that I totally missed. Uh, okay. Once a new skill is unlocked, you can unlock skill variants to alter its functionality. Gather uh, shade tech, I guess, or SHD tech by playing shade tech mission, leveling up, looting tech locations, and returning to the base operations. Skill variants. That's fine. All right. Perks. Perks are passive bonuses that will enhance your character in various ways. Uh, perks are acquired by using Shade Tech as well. Perks can be unlocked in any order. Some perks have upgrade levels. To unlock the higher levels of these perks, you must first unlock the lower levels. And pick a perk to immediately gain its benefits. Once acquired, they are always active. Hold F to unlock and to pay respects in chat. Well, right now they're saying, hey, you know what? You need a third weapon. And that's the only one that we're able to do, so I will absolutely do it. 
And there it is. Gather more shade tech by playing. Yeah, 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 we know. We figured all that out. All right. Sweet. Oh, 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 horrible things are happening. What's going on? The hostile factions in DC have their main foothold in the form of strongholds. Weaken factions by completing main missions in order to access their strongholds. Eh, makes sense. The civilian militants... I guess it's militias. I don't know why. It's fine. Are based in settlements. Settlements are safe havens where civilians are banded together to support and protect one another from the dangers in D.C. The closest settlement is the theater settlement on the east side of the city. Settlements provide a number of different activities, including main missions, side missions, and projects. Check in with settlements and see what they need help with. And finally, completing the settlement's missions will unlock new skills... And equipment, it will also upgrade the settlement and provide the base of operations with new staff. All right. I guess we're going there. Oh, this is a pretty cool map. I didn't realize how cool the map was uh, when I played the beta. That is actually pretty neat. So, like, we're gigantic, which is pretty cool. And it doesn't look like we have far to go, but you have to take, take into account that these are all streets and cross streets, and this is like city block after city block after city block. It's all it's all kind of branched out here. It shows the stronghold, what levels we can get into. So if we overshoot, we're getting into some seriously dark Juju Magumbo. It is not going to go well for us. So we need to stay in this general vicinity for a while. Then we're going to looks like we're going to sweep down south. Then we're going to go down here, and then from there, I'm not even sure where we go. I guess we go up here, then here, 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 here. So it looks smaller. I, I wonder how I wonder how it's going to feel. I'm very curious. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, yeah, no. We're, we're, we're good to go. Uh, okay, so we're going to go into our inventory. We're going to go ahead and we're going to equip our level 2 weapon here. Yeah. And do we get more knee pads? Oh, we did. And we are going to say goodbye to you, sir. And it is out of here. Alright, cool. Um, I want to move this to Q. Uh-huh. Can I... Oh, I can. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that's what I want. Alright, sweet. Okay. I think we're good. It's on Q now, right? Q? Show me. Show me Q. Here you go. Best gear in the city. Come take a look. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. Um... All right, looking at the time, we have a little bit of time. Let's go run around and run amok on our way to our next uh, little mission objective. Basically, the neighborhoods you'll be moving through are hyena territory. They're a bunch of vicious assholes who prey on the weak and vulnerable and kill for kicks. And they destroy whatever they can't steal for themselves. Mm -hmm. They've been an especially serious problem for the theater settlement. Given our situation, we need the help of the settlements. But they can't do much if they're struggling to survive. So see what you can do to take some pressure off them. But don't forget that we have to get the Shade Network back to full strength. In a lot of places, the Division has been the only thing holding people together. But with DC as the priority, most agents are completely cut off. They're not going to last long without support. Cool. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to play through probably about two or three episodes worth of uh, footage and coverage, guys and gals. And then everybody's going to play catch up when the game drops on the 15th of March. And then we're all going to join together and hold hands and sing, I don't know, hymns or something. We're going to have some fun. It's going to be a good time. For, for us, not necessarily for the bad guys. Alright, let's check out the pulse. It did not reach a single solitary bad guy. I am just unhappy with how that went down. Alright, which one of y'all wants to step up? Uh-huh, what, what's happening? Dude to the back. He did. Alright. Who else we got here? Oh, oh gosh, that's awful. That is that is a, a terrible gun for me. I'm sure some people would excel at it. It it does a double shot and boy howdy is there a little bit of kickback. I tell you, it is uh, very unenjoyable. 
Yeah, I did that. Can you can you not can you not just can you be off my uh how do I go to inventory? Oh from here. Alright. How about we get rid of this? I mean it, it's kinda neat. So what cool things does this have? Maintaining power requires one to be ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. Uh-huh. It's an exotic weapon. A binary trigger. This weapon is equipped with a binary trigger that fires on trigger pull and release. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait, 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 what? And release? So if I hold the trigger down, it's not going to keep... Sh oh, it's interesting. While holstered, landing a shot has a 5% chance to deal 20% damage as explosive damage. While holstered? What does that mean? Does that mean while I'm not, like, zooming in? Hmm. Interesting. A lot of, lot of information there. Alright, so my goal right now is to try to make it to... Portable electronic device detected. Try to make it to the... The theater district settlement thingy. Incoming backup request. Nah, nah, we, we ain't helping nobody. It's not how we roll. That looks like a few bad peeps. Alright, can, can we actually get a real scan this time? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, that's going to be so hard for me to get used to. Nope. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm sure it's really good for some people, but man, I don't like it. Come on, show me your head. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, it's so weird. So yeah, basically when you when you left click your mouse button, I'm using a mouse. Some people would prefer to use a... Oh, oh. Some people would definitely prefer using... Oh, I can't get used to it. Uh, a controller. But uh, when you when you press the shoot button, obviously it shoots. But when you release it, it also... I mean, like, you guys understand. I, I know. You're not stupid. But it's just so weird. I'm not... That's not a thing I've ever... I don't think I've ever experienced that in any game ever. It's so weird. Oh, I can't. I. It, it hurts my brain. I actually feel stupid because of this gun. That's that's not a good feeling to have. Like I know what it does, but I still can't not fire like I normally do. Just some belly shots there. It was fine. Oh, this water is lovely. All right, what do we got? Some some equipment. It's cool. Anything else? Oh, we got some more stuff over here. I mean, uh, I'll try to get used to it. Like maybe if it was like more of a sniper rifle and less of a like. I saved him by flawlessly shooting that guy without missing and using my gun the way it was intended. It's so weird. It's such a weird thing. All right, we're heading to Odessa Sawyer at the theater. We'll get there. I mean, we're about out of time for the episode, but we're also really close to where we need to be. However, it looks like we have at least one more group of baddies that we're going to have to deal with. So, let's go see what's up. My scanner does not reach far enough. I feel like I murdered a civilian there. Unintentionally, mind you. Can't do it. Oh, stop it. He's fucking dead. Come on.
Come on. No. Stick your head up. Oh, I'm so bad. There it is. Oh my goodness. That is so rough. I, but I... Alright, so... As much as I'm complaining about this, which I am, because I'm not used to it. Um, I think it's awesome that they have weapons that have different firing modes that I had never even thought of before. I'm sure some people are going to be able to, like, if you get one where you're not, like, just shooting all over the place with, a, like, terrible uh, recoil, you'd be able to just, like, put so many more bullets into something as a semi-automatic weapon as opposed to, like, a fully auto or a burst fire. You're going to have a lot more control. Like, it's a really cool idea. I just, I can't seem to use it because bad bumpy is bad. Now what? I'm coming. I'll go back to my traditional I know how to shoot with this gun weapon. Ha! Do the hot dog cart. You lucky I ran out of bullets. Stick your head up. He did. What else we got? Nothing? That's it? That was easy. Yeah, we did. Check it. Check it. See that? Boom. That's right. And... Look at that. See? One bullet. Killed them all. Oh, that, this... Nah. See? You don't, you don't do stuff like this. This isn't... Nah. Uh-uh. You don't set some... Now, you do shoot mannequins. Like, that's that's a given. That's a given. You you have to shoot the mannequins. Um, check out the Echo if you guys haven't seen it yet. It does look a lot cooler than it used to. I gotta get back to work. Thanks for the movie, Manny. Anytime, Neil. You coming over for dinner? Not tonight. Gotta be with some National Guard buddies. They're worried they'll get called to help with quarantine in New York. Okay. <laughs> this is serious. It's the flu. You remember swine flu? Everyone freaked out for nothing. You'll see. A couple of months, no one will even remember what the dollar flu was, like Y2K. Mm. Y2K. You really know how to make a guy feel old. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Just messing with it. But I don't know. You know. This doesn't feel like it's just gonna blow over. People are scared. All right, you are. You know what happens when people get scared. Yeah, you worry too much, Mijo. Give me your wallet. Yeah. Don't make us hurt you. Oh, hell no. No. You should have just given it up, old man. Wow. Help! Someone help us! Call 911! We need help! Well, that, Stay with me, Tito. That's depressing. I guess it's... Wow. Okay. So that's a... Uh, that is a thing. That happened. It's not cool. So a little bit of insight on to our boy Ortega there. Coming up in the theater settlement, the woman who runs it is named Odessa Sawyer. Try to stay on her good side. Now I realize that we've seen this, if you guys did check out my beta coverage, private beta coverage, we did actually see this all kind of go down before. So it's not a lot of new stuff, it's kind of rehashing things that we visited, but it was only four episodes I want to say, into the uh, beta before we, well, we ran out of content. There was some late game content, but I wanted to save that until we actually get in and we start playing, um, and we get there ourselves in the full Let's Play. So, that being said, uh, yeah. I really enjoyed my kind of sneak peek at the game, and now here we are, and we're getting to go a little bit early too. Again, a shout out and a big thank you to Ubisoft for always taking care of me. You guys are awesome. Like seriously, I can't thank you guys enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to pretty much do it for this first episode. Come back again tomorrow, guys and gals. I'm going to have another episode up and running for you to get you psyched up and amped up and ready to go for the game's release on the 15th of March. I hope you guys enjoyed this one in particular because, again, you're only going to have Solo Bumpy for so long, and then I'm going to be joined by other people. I know Mutanit said he's going to get the game a little bit later because he is busy kind of release week. Splooch is probably going to get the game upon release. Commissar already pre-ordered the game. Colonel RPG is looking into getting the game himself as well. So we have four people right there. I mean, they don't even need me, technically, but they're going to be joining me on and off. Might be subbing people out, switching people in. I'll try to keep everybody roughly at the same level. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it all works out. Hopefully you guys enjoy the ride. 
it's going to be a lot of fun, especially getting to play with some friends and some colleagues and family. It's just, it's going to be a blast. I hope you guys enjoy the ride. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video, as it always is in various links and things of that nature. Until the very next episode, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I swear I can't say the word subscribe anymore. Subscribe to the channel. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Yeah.